This demonstration will look at installing Windows backup software and also using that backup software to backup Microsoft Exchange Server 2013. So the first thing I need to do is actually install the backup software itself and to do that I do that through Server Manager. So we'll launch up Server Manager. Once we get into Server Manager what we need to do is we need to install our Windows backup feature. So what we'll do is we'll click on Add Roles and Features. And what we'll do here, just something before we begin, we'll just click Next. Installation type is role-based or feature-based installation, so we'll select Next. Server selection is LON MBX1, so we'll select Next again. We're not installing any additional roles, so we'll select Next again. And what we're going to do here is install the Windows Backup feature. So we'll scroll this down a little bit. Highlight Windows Server Backup and select Next. And select Install. And this will now install the Windows Server Backup software. So rather than sit and watch a blue bar move across the screen, at this point we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. That's right, so now the feature is installed, we'll just select Close and we'll select Close again. Right, one of the things I'm going to do here now is just create a location for my backup. So I'll just come into Windows Explorer. And then all I'll do here is I'll just create a folder on my C drive called Backup. Right, so we'll just right click here, just New, just create a folder. I'll just call that Backup. Then the next thing I'll do here is I'll just share it out just so that I can put in UNC path to this Backup folder. So we'll just right click at this point, Share with, we'll then share with specific people. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to um, share this with everyone. And we'll just make that read right. Right, so that's now done. So we'll just click done there. Right, so now the next thing to do is just actually create a backup. So all we'll do here is we'll just go to our start screen. And what we're looking for here is our Windows backup software. So we're into administrative tools. And we'll just maximize this up a bit and then just scroll down and then into our Windows Server backup software. That's what we're going to do a local backup. And we're going to backup once. We select the different options and select next. What we'll then do is we'll do a full server backup, recommended. On the destination type here, we'll just go for a remote shared folder and select next. And then we specify the folder. So we'll go for long cas one backup and then we'll select next. And then all we'll do here is we'll just select backup. And we'll just wait for this to get past this point here. As we can now see, it's creating the shadow copy of the volumes. Now it's going to go away and do the backup. The backup's going to take about 25 minutes to complete, so we're not going to sit and watch that for 25 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll return back once the backup is complete. Right, as we can see, everything's now completed. So we'll click close at this point here. And that's our system now backed up. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.